Hey guys, so before we move forward, I would like to demonstrate a mechanism by which you can uh, access these values from outside class files. The idea is this kind of static information should not be part of the class files. So this is something for this, we have a concept called as configuration file in Java. So using that configuration file, we can actually fetch this information from that file and use it inside our code. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a config file here. So new file i'll name it as config by the way you can give it give it any name right now i'm choosing to give it config.properties and inside this what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this information from here i'll move it to here let me remove unnecessary coded values so this is how it should look and i will remove this here equal to that's it. Now the idea is what whenever I would need server or access token in the class files, I'm going to use something which will fetch these values from here and it will be used in my code. So the idea is I will not use this hard coded values here. So what needs to be done uh, for now, I'll just comment it out. So now I will get start getting errors. I need to resolve those. So what I'll do, let me create a method called as public void setup. Inside this, I'm going to make use of a class in Java called as properties. The purpose of that properties file is it will fetch that information out of this config.properties and it will save it as a, you can visualize it as a hash map. So it will be a key and value pair. So this will be a key. This will be its, will be its value. So let me go back. Oh, okay, not this one. Right. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a properties. Prop is equal to new properties. And this will, sorry, not this. Now it will ask me to import a package called as properties. Next step, which I'm going to do is I'm going to load this file. So I have two options, load input stream and load as a reader. I'm going to choose input stream. So the, uh, what I need to do is this config.properties has to be fetched from here as an input stream. And that is what I'm going to put inside this so that it could load this file. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write get class, get class loader dot get resource now this is one of the way by, way by which you can actually read the configuration files present inside resource okay so this is a method i'm going to use and here i'm going to give the name of the file config dot properties and i'm going to create a input stream object if you're not very sure about what this input stream and output stream, all these things, this is actually deals with reading the files. I would recommend to read about it. Maybe I'll create another video for it, but it's a plain Java concept wherein uh, how you will read values out of a text file and how it will be converted to input stream and can be used. This is what the concept is. But for now, maybe you can just memorize it, how to read values from a configuration file. So this is what is important for now. So input, by the way, if you don't know, you know what it will return. What you can do is, you can just see it here. So it will you will you will get to see when you do. Sorry, when you do. Dot get resource. You see the output here. Sorry, the the output of that the return type of this method will be input stream, and that is what basically you need to write there. That is input stream. I'm going to write here input stream and right here let's say in stream this sorry is this this is the same variable i'm going to call import this now next is i'm getting at throw declaration so i let me just throw it so now by these three statements what's happening is the configuration file which is present here has been fetched here as an input stream and that input stream i'm going i'm passing this inside this prop.load method and this is actually loading so this object is has loaded with the config.property file details so the idea is 
this will be saved inside prop object using key and value so this will be a key inside that this will be a value how will will you access it fairly simple you will write prop dot get either use this or you can also write get property which is this sorry prop dot get property i don't know what's happening no, get property this method and here what you want to write is the value here that is server and access token right so you need access token first you need a server so right here in double quote server and when i do that this returns me the value the url of it right so i'll write here string url or string server and same thing i'm going to do for access token so access token also i'm going to do like this or i can just change the name so that you don't get confused so let me say it's a url let me say it's a token and so here i need to write url here i need to write token the point is how will i transfer this here right to do that i will need to create this as a instance variable so what i'll do is i will keep it like this so this is set to null and this also is set to null but this also doesn't solve my problem because i need to say pass this information which is i fetch from here to these values so what i'll do i will remove this from here so what will happen this will get set in this and this variable will be will get set inside this setup method but the point is when are we calling the setup method we are not calling it explicitly right so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to annotate this with before class annotation of j unit so what will happen every time this class gets executed this will first get executed as soon as this gets executed it will read the property files it will save get the property out of that config properties and it will set the server and access token it will have happen only once right so advantage we are getting here is if and if whenever i need to change the url which happens a lot in a live project because in the live project you don't actually test the main use main uh, url sometimes you have to test on a dev dot url dev dot the server name that is the dev environment the next time you might have to test this in the test environment next time you want to test this into a stage environment that there are usually different kind of environments available inside a live environment but for now we'll keep it like this okay okay i hope uh, let me just first run it maybe then you will get some understanding what's happening so get, let me run it if everything is working fine okay i'm getting initialization met initialization exception let me see what it is oh yes so i got it so before class in j unit the method on top of which i am writing before class this method has to be a static method that's how they've designed it so let me check it again or instead of uh, using this before class of j unit because it has some complexity because we need to make something static the moment we make something static we start getting error here let me find out an easy way of doing it or maybe a more standard way of doing it so and this also can give you some idea about how can we do implement inheritance basically in our in in, in any project basically so the first step towards doing that is i will go and create a class i will might name it as a base class which is very a very very common concept in in any of the automation framework which you must use which you might see so I'll write here base class or people sometimes call it test base or something like that so let me give it a name as test base and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this test base to put a method okay and that method i would give a name as maybe this setup okay maybe i'll create a method this directly here i'll give it a name as public void load properties okay and the purpose of this method will be to 
return the properties file right so i write here return and in the return i will write here prop this is what i would would like to return then in the void part i'm going to write properties like this and i'm going to surround this by try and a catch so catch exception e here i'll write this out and i'll write here file not found exception thrown exception thrown or config dot properties file and i'm going to what is that now written statement right so i need to put a written statement here as well right here return null because if there is no file i would like this to be as null next what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and here i'm going to write ends test base class now what will happen whatever is present here in test base all this will actually go and come here it will be available inside tc get request there's one more thing i can do which is uh, you remember if you have seen the last video in the post request i had a method called as get random string this also i can go and i'll cut it and i can put this inside test base class which is here right now next thing which i do is i'm going to uncomment this and i'm going to inside this test plus i have a method called as load properties isn't it so i'm going to go here and i'm going to move it here and i'm going to call this method this will turn me a property so get property the key will be my url so i'm directly calling the method in the instance variable space second thing the token the same way i will do for token the token here will be token the logic is pretty simple load properties is a method present inside test test base the purple the job of this load properties will be to fetch the properties out of that property file and return the property as an object then this will be returning here and then on that i'm implementing get property url and that pro get property token right i don't need this here so now if i go and run this get request let's see if it works run as j unit test okay i made a, another change here so this method called as get random string is now part of test base right so i'm going to extend this as well so i'll write extends test base so now if i go and run this run as j unit test things will start running just fine because whatever information was there in the config file will be fetched and it is doing its job whatever it was supposed to be doing right so basically that's how that now this is one of the way, way by which you can fetch values of out of the test out of the config file and use it i am creating this test space to save that useful information some common methods i'm going to put here and those methods i'm going to actually can be accessed or i'm actually accessing inside this tc react request as well as tc post request